Yes, good. Keep going. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, but the door is that way. All right. Now let you shower me with praise after all the mysteries are solved. The surroundings appear to have changed. This isn't the beach we originally left. The area appears to be the mountains of Mondstadt. Wait, have we been sent back to Mondstadt? Yet the boundless ocean still surrounds us. There should be another pool around here for us to enter. Over here, y'all! Why isn't it letting us enter? Oh, something seems to be floating on the water there. Uh, is it a painting? Or what is it? It seems to be hinting at a specific place. It is anticipating that the princessin would guide her loyal followers to the location that has been chosen by fate. Why is it always you that has to take the lead? <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's just find this place first. be as tall as my big sister.
Everyone is working super hard. We should be too.
I'm fine. Astrology reveals the truth unreservedly. But not everyone is willing to accept their faith. No matter. Running into difficulties is part of practicing the craft. I must also become stronger myself in order to convince people. I once met an adventurer on a mountain who also happened to be picking fruits. He was even kind enough to share some with me, so in return, I agreed to perform a divination for him. The results were terrifying. I advised him to give up adventuring as soon as possible, otherwise he could meet his end within the next two years. He fell silent for a while. Surprisingly, he didn't doubt the results of my divination like others had. He looked quite perplexed. Even so, I have to keep going. Adventurers can't just give up in the face of hardship. With that, he picked up his pack and headed for the peak. However, try as I might, I could never forget that incident. Why is that? was the only time I ever saw him, and that was more than three years ago, which means he's no longer alive. But isn't there still a chance that he's alive? You know, like maybe you just made a mistake. You can't call it divination if you reject anything bad and believe the good unreservedly. That's just self-deception. Of course, casually performing divination for fun might be a different matter, but in my field of expertise, there's no room for lies. To contradict my own reading would be a blasphemy against astrology. Cruel, but truthful. Such is fate. I don't usually say things like this, but while we're on the topic, I really hope you don't confuse astrology with those fortune stick peddlers that you see along the streets. Astrology does not exist to please. We astrologists are here to verify and witness the truths of this world. Ugh. Which is why astrology is a disdained profession. It is a mighty art, but unfortunately one that annoys people nonetheless. Why dost thou protest so much, Lady Magistus? Thou seems not to be the sort with whom one would be loath to be associated. What Main Fräulein means is that she's glad to be friends with you. No, that's not exactly what I said. Whatever has gotten into you, Oz, you misinterpret my utterances with increasingly alarming frequency. Oh my, why could that be? Perhaps I have been concerned that Main Fräulein could offend her friends, and have been attempting to soften her words. 